we started this podcast because we wanted to highlight the uh, diversity of the Middle East or, you know, the Middle East. Uh, we are all you know, Lebanese. Uh, some of us are Lebanese. We're all half Lebanese, uh, essentially. I'm half Lebanese and I'm half Palestinian. I'm also a uh, Christian uh, Lebanese and Christian Palestinian. Raf is half Lebanese and half Jewish. Uh, he is, I mean, Raf is, you know, Jewish. And then we have Frogan, who's half Lebanese, half white, but Raf, uh, Frogan is Muslim. The reason of the pod was to kind of highlight uh, what what it is to be Arab, you know, like what it really is to be Arab. It's It's not what people really think it is. You know, people tend to think, this like monolith of like every Arab looks the same or they talk the same. And it's, it's really a very diverse place. You know uh, you know, I've been in Lebanon for a while. You, you've been in Lebanon. You've also done birthright in Israel. So the whole reason we did this pod was to basically open people's minds up to what it could be, you know, now addressing like the elephant in the room of what's been going on recently with Frogan kind of want to uh, kick it to Frogan and just, you know, kind of tell what's been going on with you uh, lately. Okay, so for context, uh, five years ago in 2019, I went to therapy and my therapist was a Zionist. And that kind of off put me from therapy for a very, very, very long time. Um, recently, I finally found a therapist that was covered through my insurance. And I made sure to find somebody that was one, a woman, and two, a person of color because I had that assumed like empathy between the therapists you know that they'll understand like potential discrimination i would face as somebody that's an visible muslim arab woman uh so first session with her was fine second session i delved into uh social media and the toxic things that happen on social media she told me that she doesn't really know or care about palestine uh, because as a black woman, she faces discrimination in America every day. So to her, it's just another place. So I left that session feeling kind of frustrated. And whenever I'm frustrated, I go to Twitter. Uh, so I tweeted out a tweet um, talking about how, you know, I was traumatized from my experience I had with my Zionist therapist back in 2019. And I finally decided to go again. And now this just like the lack of empathy frustrated me. I didn't think anything of it when I tweeted it. It was just me venting because I don't have like an alt account to vent on. I just tweeted it on main thinking nothing of it. Um, as time progressed throughout the day, uh, people picked up on it and I started getting accused of dog whistling that the Zionist therapist was a Jewish person. So I put out a tweet that night like, you know, liberals on social media want to assume and like apply their implicit biases towards Jewish people that all Jewish people are Zionists, which I don't believe that. So I put a tweet out clarifying that. Um, and I went to bed thinking nothing of it. Next day I woke up, I was going on about my day and I started getting like spam mentioned about Ethan mentioning me again. And I'm like, Oh great. Like what could it be? And then one of my friends sent me a clip of Ethan talking about my tweet about my therapist. To be honest, I didn't watch a clip. Uh, the last time he went on like the hour rant about me was very traumatic and I didn't really want to experience that again. So I didn't watch it. I sent it to my friends, uh, Capri and Raf. And, you know, I wasn't going to respond to him, but it was like a whirlwind of hate towards me and accusations of me being anti-Semitic like took over. So I couldn't just sit there and not clear my name. So whenever I was clearing my name, I went into depth about the therapy sessions I had with the therapist that was a Zionist back in 2019. I had two sessions with this person. So in the tweet, I was talking about how she brought up me being a Lebanese unprompted. Um, me personally, I didn't know about therapist not asking for your familial background because she asked me shit up where my family's from so i went on the whole spiel about my dad is a lebanese immigrant he left during the 90s blah 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 and whenever i was at the session with her she was like i'm israeli do you have an issue with that and that kind of took me aback um i said no whenever she did ask me that um and i was like you know what I'm, we're just going to carry on because I was at a point in my life where I felt really mentally ill. I just wanted to like 
start this because I put it off for so long at that point in my life too. But then like things started getting weird between the two therapy sessions. She started like talking more about Israel and talking about me resenting Islam, talking about my scarf. And then it got to a point where I was like, you know what? I reversed the question on her. I'm like, okay, I'm Arab. Do you have an issue with that? And she got like, she started laughing. She's like, oh, so now you're reversing this on me. And at that point, I was like, you know what? Therapy isn't for me. I'm done. So after the first therapy session I had, whenever she brought it up, I talked to a couple people, one being my old therapist I had from 2015. She wasn't practicing anymore, which is why I wasn't going to her. So I told her what happened, and she told me that I should get a new therapist. I talked to my mom about it. She told me I should get a new therapist. Talked to like my general doctor. She said I should get a new therapist. Um, and people... Like, I, it made me uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. Like, her asking that and, like, the um, the factors that happen after the fact of her asking, it contributed to, I'm like, you know, this is supposed to be a place for me where I feel comfortable talking about my issues and trying to work through things that I previously couldn't. Um, and it just created a weird environment for me. Um, so I tweeted that whole spiel, obviously better worded than what I did right now. And, yeah. Um... Now it's just like a fucking mess. I'm getting, uh, now I'm on the anti Semite page. I'm the face of an anti Semite page who exposes people as anti Semitic people, which I'm not. But yeah, I do realize that like anti Semitism does, like, people think that anti Semitism has a root in the pro Palestinian movement, which it doesn't. There are people, like you said, that make that their whole motive as to why they're pro-Palestine, but they're tainting the movement. Uh, people need to realize that when you're pro-Palestinian, it doesn't mean you, you're anti-Jewish. Um, if anything, conflating Ju uh, beating Judaism and Zionism is anti-Semitic. You can't just assume all Jewish people are Zionist. That's not how it works. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, and those people that use their anti-Semitic uh, tropes to be pro-Palestinian, like I said, taint the movement. And that's not me. I don't believe that at all. Um, Whenever we say uh, free Palestine, I want everybody to coexist. I don't want people, I don't want to be one side or the other. Yeah, I mean, I'm Palestinian. You know, I, I've been saying free Palestine my whole life. I mean, I tweeted like a m week before that happened. I don't know, like a month. I tweeted a picture of me just with free Palestine before anyone knew about this stuff. Also, I've had the Palestinian, the Lebanese flag. I've taken it out of my bio, the Palestinian flag, multiple times because of hate. Just so you guys know. You know, I, I know that there are people. There are people. There are bad people in every movement, but like me personally, as a Palestinian, I just want one country, no religion, coexisting, walls taken down, everyone work together. As it was before. Yeah, that, that's my opinion. That, well, that's the thing, too, is that, you know, Palestinians, Christian Palestinians, Muslim Palestinians, Jewish Palestinians all live together in harmony like they really did. And it wasn't until the Nakba where everybody was starting to get pushed out and it was becoming a, a, a Jewish monolith a jewish union and it bothers me when i see people just want to go oh they're anti-semitic i mean it's such for me it's such a cop-out and so when i see you know people conflating judaism and zionism to being the same thing it's totally it it, 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 hurt, it hurts me a lot because I'm like, I'm not a Zionist and I'm Jewish. So am I, am, does that make me less of a Jew than everybody else? Am I less, Jew, am I, am I less a part of that culture again? Because I'm, because I'm not, because I don't believe in Zionism, which is a political movement from the government of Israel and not, and not like a real Jewish practice. So it's just, it's 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 mind-boggling to me that people make the comparison and it's mind-boggling to me that people are just like ready with pitchforks and knives to find an enemy in this who has nothing to do with what's actually going on a lot of people like in tw on twitter were wondering like you're not even palestinian why do you even care what's happening so much and i feel like a lot of people don't realize that like even though like we're all lebanese capri's palestinian um, even growing up, our families were affected by the government of Israel. Like my dad fled the the war uh, in the nineties. Uh, he grew up in it. Um, the Lebanese Civil War. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because of it, you know. And like even now, like 
with everything happening uh, in Palestine, Lebanon is being affected too. South Lebanon is being bombed right now. There's white phosphorus. Um, Capri and I are from so- like southern Lebanon. Yeah. Um, so it's like the first political issue you, you learn as an Arab, uh, what the government of Israel has done to the region. Um, so one thing I feel like whenever everything happened in October – we all were educated on what already happened. Uh, we didn't have to get the the run up of information. Um, all that confusion yes. and the stuff that's coming from people now trying to understand what's going on. It's not there because it was there all the time, mm-hmm. the whole time. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's a political movement. Like personally, behind the scenes, I've been trying to help as much as I can. Mm-hmm. I, I honestly, I I kind of gave up on it for a while. I was like, "Fuck it, dude!" Like, it, there's nothing we can do. Like, we're gonna die in the dark. And there's nothing we can do and nobody gives a shit. And now I'm seeing like all these political people like jump in and it's like, hey, man, like, cool. This is our life. Like, this isn't like a this isn't fucking content. You know, Mm -hmm. even the stuff that's going on with you and Ethan. I mean, these are these are everyone's a real person. This isn't content. No, And like the thing is, I used to love Ethan. I used to consume his content. I used to watch his podcasts. Um, Yeah, me too. But. Like, after him going after me in October, like, I haven't watched his content anymore. Like, I I just, I don't, like, I don't want to, like, sound dramatic, but I just can't, like, stomach it anymore. Like, I just don't want to associate. He was actually, actually, like, personally one of my, like, the favorite. Yeah, and I just, like, don't want to associate that or anymore because it's, like, kind of triggering in that sense. Mm, So, with this happening all over again, I'm just, like. Yeah. What sucks is it's, like. (laughs) <laughs> we were talking about this. It's like, how do you prove a negative? It's like, I'm not it. You know, like, you no, what are you going to do? What, what am I going to show do? like a whole family picture roll of all the Jewish people that I have in my phone? <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't do that. You know, so like when you make it, it's it, it, it sucks because it's just kind of like whoever says the information first is automatically correct, you know? Yeah. So with Ethan using his platform and just saying what he did, I mean, he, he could have said it. Don't get me wrong. He could have said it and totally not have said your name. And then this might have happened but not as large as it is right now but to deliberately deliberately go out of his way to say your name and then put that accusation on your name it's so it's just it's bewildering to me and it it's honestly it's heartbreaking because it's like that's not true but how are we gonna defend ourselves and how are we gonna fight this it's kind of what's going literally what's going on in the world today you know, there's no way we can really fight and defend ourselves unless we are put in this position where we have to fight back. And I'm like, oh, why Why should we even be in that position? It's because of something someone said. What's crazy is like Frogan's story is not something that's unheard of. It's not unheard we, of. We already knew about the story because we were talking about it. We were, right. When you were getting your therapist, we were talking about the story. You're like, I don't want to go. We're like, just go. Like, they're not like it's going to be like good that. for you. It'll be fine. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be good for you. And I'm like, even with my therapist, he said stuff like I love my therapist. He's great. You know, but he mm-hmm. said stuff to me that I'm like, mm, dude, it's <laughs> like that's yeah. like you you don't get like is this in your culture? You guys do this? I'm like, no, it's not my culture. Oh, dude, I was born in California. Right, <laughs> you know right, what I'm right. saying? Like, Between the two of you and sometimes me, like when we do tweet about this particular thing, we tweet in a, from a very emotional and angry place, and a lot of the times a very logical place as well, and it gets misconstrued as we have no like understanding right. about anything else that's going on, which is just not true. The problem is is that we understand literally everything that's going on and we're not like we're not afraid to like really kind of come out and say it you know because i'm jewish and i'm pro palestine palestine but does that make me to see people like even assume that i'm anti-semitic towards my own people is fucking awful i saw you going in with someone and i'm like and i'm usually i'm not the i'm not the person who tweets back i don't do that i'm like all right they're gonna talk their shit no matter what's gonna happen Mm -hmm. they're always gonna say whatever i can't please anybody on the internet on the internet, no matter if you're in the right, you're wrong 100% yeah. all the time. Yeah. So, you know, I finally blew up on a couple of people and I'm like, dude, this is like just bullshit. You know, I'm not any less of a person of my culture than you are. You're just, you're, you're doing this. You're I, like, I can't even like really uh, put yeah, into words what's going on. It's, it's so like, frustrating too because they like, they make the assumption. Number one, like a lot of the stuff is like, it's hateful and racist. Yeah. What they'll do is they'll be like, you're Muslim, you're Muslim, you're Muslim. Right. And I'm like, no, 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 not at all. None of us. I'm like me and Raf are. I'm, I'm Christian. Raf's Jewish. Yeah, and I even I mean, have Christian. I have Jewish and Christianity on yeah. both sides. So I'm like, again, like, 
why are you guys making that assumption? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's and it's just because oh Arab, haha, <laughs> Muslim. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's frustrating because then I go like, hey, I'm Christian. Then I'm equivocating it. Then I'm putting Frogan down in the process. Like, well, I'm not actually Muslim, and it makes me feel like I'm distancing myself from Frogan. Right. And I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to educate people to be like, hey, man. You know, like one of the one of the the lies I hear is like all the Christians were pushed out by the Muslims, and I'm like, That's what not are you true. talking about? Mm -mm. I mean, is there anything else we want to address about this? Uh, Did we miss anything? No, um, I think that we'll just move on and do the regular episode. I think that that's it. Your hat looks fucking weird. <laughs> the whole time? <laughs> Why did nobody tell me? Can we do two. the iCarly? Three, two, one. Sure, we do the iCarly. All right, three, two, one. That hey, why did that work? I fucking hate that. iCarly work. works. It didn't I know. work. Okay, okay, you okay, okay, see, okay. Now that we're somehow ready. the world will change for me and be so wonderful. What? <laughs> we're not doing iCarly. Why are you upset? He's too because he's too fucking old to remember iCarly. No, that's not why he's upset. I know who Miranda Cosgrove is. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah, I do. Yeah? Yeah. Can what she said. Name? She said fuck on the internet. She didn't say fuck on the internet. Fuck I, like, I like the cuss a little. little. I like the cuss a little. I like the cuss a little. I love her. Miranda, if you're watching this, I love you. She's not watching this. She's watching this. Comment down below. Yo, the my favorite character from iCarly was uh Spencer. My favorite was Beans. Why was it? Beans wasn't in iCarly. Yeah, he was. He wasn't in iCarly. Yes, he was. What was he? No, he was my the camera guy. You know who he Capri reminds you of from iCarly? Who? Hubert. What the fuck know is who a Hubert? Hubert is? I'm not a fucking Hubert. <laughs> you know Hubert? I don't like that you Put said. Put a picture on the screen. I'm not fucking Hubert. You're a Hubert. You kind of look like him too. You kind of look like Hubert. I don't look like a Hubert. You look What's like a Hubert? Hubert. My, is my phone off? I'll show you right now. You know I hired you? one of the guys from iCarly to do a, a, a cameo? What? I hired one of the people to oh, do a cameo. Oh, I, I hired one of the I hired Neville to do like a Rising Star Enforce reinforcement last year. Yeah. Reinforcement. Reinforcement. I was like, you hell divers. Oh, now you got her stuck on hell divers. <laughs> I told you that should have been an episode of the pod. We need to talk about I, hell divers. So I wanted a a Neville Papperman <laughs> endorsement. Okay. For hell divers. For for the democracy. Yeah. He, he turned me down. He said no, that fucking bitch. <laughs> what do you? So I was like, you're gonna rue the fucking day. So that, You're gonna see, rue that's, the that's day. That's a line. That's Except, a line from from iCarly. Okay, here's the deal. I've seen I've seen every episode of iCarly, and I love. Oh my god, it's so good. It's this guy. One of my favorites. How many? <laughs> Come on, guys. It looks just like you. It doesn't. Look it like also me. looks he like, like he looks it, like Norman it looks Bates. Like a, it looks like a white guy, but you're growing out of the side of his face. <laughs> He kind of acts like him too. That's really fucked up. You do act like him. I don't act like any. He, he has anxiety. I think he looks like Norman Bates. He has OCD and he also has a metal, uh, a wooden shiv. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. Stop using my fucking disability against me, okay? Just because I have OCD, okay? I don't think it's a disability. It does make you a better person? The OCD makes me a better person. Yeah. Why? You're more like focus, focus, and you have like more of a structure. But then your ADD is what fucks you up. Okay, I was gonna be like, focus where? No, his ADD is what fucks him up. It's, you can't do that. Do you know what I just did? You did I some witch you. shit. You're no, a witch. I did, I did witch You're you. a Benny Jesuit. I. That was a good reference. Spice I, melange. I, spice melange. <laughs> spice Show you how be spice melange. The spice melange. I sized you up. That you was didn't OCD. size me up. But I forgot it was ADD. <laughs> you did it like in a weird, in like a Catholic way. This is insane. I sized you up. Here's the deal. Okay, you okay. guys are fighting with me. Yes. Okay, I want to go back to what I was saying before we turn on this fucking. Sure. Time. Capri thinks he has Einstein's reincarnation In my into dog. Miles, which yeah. is false. He I swears do. to God, his dog invented uh, time travel at this point. I swear to God, my dog is smarter than most of you guys. Okay? I swear to God. We told him last night. I was teaching him you guys' th their names. I was like, touch Raph. And then the dog goes up to Raph and touches Raph. And I say, touch Frogan. The dog goes up to Frogan and touches Frogan. I go, touch Scooby. He actually had No, no, no. You're making it seem like you said touch Raph touch one Miles. time. Touch you Raph. have to train him your you name. Said it, you're making it seem like you said it one time. It doesn't matter. You said touch Raph, touch Raph, touch Raph, touch Raph, touch Raph, touch Raph. And the Miles and was, somebody was like, where, <laughs> where the fuck do I go? And then he was like, no, Raph, not dad. Not dad, <laughs> Raph. I'm mad. Okay, I'll tell you why. <laughs> why are you mad? 
because I taught him your name, and then all you guys last night, Frogan was like, he's so freaking cute. Then this morning, you guys forget. You go, he's stupid. And he's I'm like, stupid. He's not. He's he is beautiful. He's a great dog. I love him. Just because somebody's beautiful doesn't mean they're smart as hell. He. He literally, mm. I go, touch Frogan. He touched Frogan. But I touched Frogan, too. I'm touching Frogan, too. It's not a genius thing to do. Touch Raf. Touch Raf. Touch Raf. No, not Dad. Not Dad. Raf. Raf. Not Dad. And you're not, you guys are making You know what would have made it better to convince us is if we were all sitting where we were sitting last night, you said, touch Raf. He touched me, and then I moved somewhere else, and then you said, touch Raf. I'll do that today. We'll do that on I'm the I'm not hanging now. out with Miles. He upsets me sometimes. No. I'm gonna Why? Have... Let's Let's unpack it. I think I think his hair. I just don't like his hair. I don't like being able to see his eyes. Yeah, I don't like his. I don't like his like devil eyes. He's got shark devil eyes. His eyes look like boba. (laughs) (laughs) His eyes do look like boba. He's got little tapioca balls in his eyes. Okay, the haircut he got last time was really bad because it was just he was all shaved and just like big black eyes. Big black eyes. (laughs) Just like in the middle of the night, I'd like wake up to go to the bathroom, and he's like. (laughs) <laughs> his eyes, eyes are Loki kind of too close together. <laughs> Yo, he does have the close together <laughs> eyes. He does, but that's okay. I love like him. his dad. Don't get me wrong, I love him. You guys are so f- dude. I fucking. You but you're saying he's doing all he's these things. Prettiest he's dog I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he's a good dog. Him. He's great. He's great. Okay, he does kind of resemble the Goombas from the Mario Brothers movie, <laughs> but. <laughs> He does look like a Goomba. He's so cute, though. But yesterday, he did that. And then today, I go, what is this? And he did it unprompted. Yes, he pressed the nut button how many? How many he times? He pressed the nut button three times. Nut. Nut. Okay, he pressed the nut button three times. But then he then I said, no, not the nut button. And then he goes, he goes to the toy button, presses the toy button. No. He knows what, what they are. Well, you you berate him. I do you, not berate him. Not like in a negative way. But you do berate him with the same phrase over and over and over again. Because that's how you, you don't train give him the time them. to think. Do you, do you ask a dog once? Go. Sit, I do. Sit and then it. Well, how do you train your dog? You Sorry, go, Stephen is better than Miles. I wouldn't say that. He's still kind of a menace. See, but I say. Sorry, you say Marley, it once. Oliver, and Chloe are better than Stephen and Miles. Oh, can your dog? Pr- two of them have cataracts, and one of them has diabetes. <laughs> okay. I don't think they're better than <laughs> Where Miles. Where do you get the diabetes from? I don't know, but I heard it from a source. Do they press buttons? Do they go Capri Sun Poppy? Or they press like you know insulin buttons, and that's it. They don't have diabetes. Marley, Marley's <laughs> fifteen I, years I, old, and Oliver is turning fourteen, and Chloe's turning ten. They're old as hell. Are they? Yeah, I've had them ever since well, I was a teenager. Okay, can I ask you a question? Have they ever pressed a button? No, you can't even. They get press a... my buttons. <laughs> that's it. what. The... Okay. They made me fucking mad. I know, I know, but. That's not what I'm asking you, okay? My dog presses buttons. Dog buttons are a new also, fucking Yeah, wave. that's true. Dog buttons are a new thing. I, I had those motherfuckers when I was Marley. What is the coolest 13. trick your dog can do? Marley plays soccer. <laughs> Marley plays. <laughs> Marley's actually What's Division he One in soccer the athlete. League? No, no, no. Mar- you don't understand it. He's in the Bundesliga. He's he's in the league. I swear to God, he he. Whenever he was younger, oh. he, he's a. He you know plays what my dogs Manchester. do that other dogs don't do? They suck balls. What? I'm pacifiers. We what? call it their stinky ball. They have a pacifier. It's like Raff, the, Raff, I swear, you... it's like a foam ball, and he uses it as a pacifier. So your dogs are cats. So the breeder gave him us way too early. She told us he was eight weeks, but he was actually five oh, weeks. Oh, so your dog has an oral fixation from mommy issues. But but even Oliver has it, and we got him nor- like at normal time. They're, so they use it as a pacifier. That's and not a cool it, trick. That's yeah, really is. weird the, to look at. I'll put a video. All right, put a video. It's still gonna be here. Here's me reacting to the video. Put it ne- put it next to my face. What what the f- I want to react to? Ugh, ugh. Like those little squares where yeah, the, like, little, little green the on the outside. Hollywood squares. Put us yeah. all like. <laughs> no, God. it's so cute. They they suck the balls to sleep to go to bed. But now my mom said Marley's too old to do it now. So I wish I had that in my life. <laughs> No, I'm not letting that happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let it you happen. Can't, you can't let go of the ball. Let it fucking happen. You can't dude. let go of the ball. Let it, between us. Let it fucking happen, brother. God damn, dude. You never let us suck the balls. Okay, you here's know the what? Deal. Here's the thing. <laughs> no, you know what? Here's the thing. How come whenever I say something like I want somebody to suck the eggs out of my ovaries like boba, it's like maniacal. What do you mean? People will fucking shit on me for that. Yeah. But you can yeah. talk about getting your ball sucked and you guys because are high fiving and shit. 
Can I tell you why? Why? Misogyny. And I will take advantage of it. Suck my balls, man. Come not, on. No, I'm not high-fiving on misogyny. Uh, no, but you... Am I high-fiving on misogyny? I'm just saying it's fucked up for her, but I but we could say stuff that I've she can't. I've high-fived you every time you've offered it up. I'm not high-fiving on misogyny. You broke the cycle. Yeah, if you break the cycle, seven years of bad luck for you. Is If I break a cycle, is that misogynistic or am I a champion of women? I mean, it's, this, it's podca- this podcast is already inherently misogynistic, so just go ahead and Wait, do it. Why is it. Why is it inherently misogynistic? Wait, who's mis- inherently yeah, misogynistic? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> The point was great. <laughs> I can't even do it. You. <laughs> where are your facts to support this? Yeah. You're not wrong, but where are your facts? He broke my nail. <gasps> oh, you broke a nail? You did it. Oh, how did, how did it? I do it? Your existence. That's what's. How do you say when you hate men? Misandry. Misandry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fucking hate men. I've never heard of that. I've never heard really? that word. Yeah. You don't have to accuse me of it. I'll admit to it right now. No, I don't. I'm not accusing you of Specifically for people like you and you. That point hit. I understand how you feel now. That point. Are you on my, my side again? I'm on your side again. Yeah! <laughs> Suck the balls, brother. I'm, See, a, I'm a guy's guy. I'm a boy's I guy. I never get these I'm high a fives. man's girl. I'm a man's. Wait. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an alpha. A lot of people say that about me on the internet. I've been seeing the tweets. Nobody says that a about you. A lot of people, they're like alpha male Capri. You know what's so coffee. alpha? Getting a getting a beanie and wearing it backwards is alpha. There's a 3M tag on the beanie. And you guys made me, you guys have been making me feel bad about the beanie. But I don't understand. Why are you so upset about the 3M tag? It's like, you, you know, COVID protects my... So is this protecting you from balding? Yeah. <laughs> You would know. That's good. You would That's know. a good one. I have a good hairline. You see Noel <laughs> Miller's hairline? Mine looks like that. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got a buzz cut. <laughs> 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 Subscribe to the Patreon to see the hairline. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I never get high fives on this fucking podcast. That is such That's bullshit. Not true. For the first couple weeks, you and Raf were like, Purposely against me, you guys high five all the time, and now me and it Raph? wasn't purposely. It was just happened. It just happened. But now we kind of shifted forces. Now it's like a me and Raf thing. No, so now I you're basically like give... the internet to me right now. Yeah, we are. We know what to. We know where to align. <laughs> we know where to align. We want the views. If you want to, if you don't like frozen, <laughs> sub to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I was prepared for all the hatred because I have to deal with these two every week. Wait, hold on a second. I want to take a back seat here. Um, what? Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, what are you, what are you talking about? That makes it seem like we 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 they don't. are I'm joking. insulting you. They never insult me. If anything, huh. they uplift me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You get a high five for that. No, because I'm talking about you guys. No, you get a high five for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ow. <laughs> See, that's why you don't high five women. You heard them. As an it alpha. Hurt. Yeah, we're doing it to protect you, not yeah. to. No. Yeah, as an alpha. You're fragile. Yeah. You're not weak like and you. fragile. Your My hands are red now. See exactly. Well, finally got some color on your skin. So now let's <laughs> let's move on to as an alpha male. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are red. white like Casper. White like that movie Powder. Remember that movie, dude? Nobody knows that movie. You remember that movie Powder? Yes, I've been calling people Powder forever. Where like, he's like, al- he's like an albino goat guy. He's just an albino guy, right? I don't know what he's like magic powers okay. or something. She doesn't know anything about this movie. I don't know anything about the movie, but I wanted to be albino so fucking bad. You are, sweetheart. No, so I'm no. not. I wanted purple you fucking are. eyes. Honey, they don't have purple eyes. The, You're thinking gonna, of Riddick. That, that You're thinking of the legend post. of Riddick. <laughs> that fucking Tumblr post, okay? <laughs> there was a Tumblr post going around that like albino bitches have purple eyes. And I was like, oh my God, I want purple eyes so bad. It's weird because I also had an obsession with per- getting purple eyes when I was younger. What about you? What the fuck? No, he was too punk. What is this conversation, dude? Where did I lose you? You wanted to be albino so you could have purple eyes? Yeah, that's what that's where she wanted to go, but I, I don't think that's It was true. a Tumblr post. Tumblr seems like a hellscape. You said that last time, and it yeah. is a hellscape. It is? Yeah. Uh, I Where did I want this to go? I was saying something important, and then you guys cut me off. And it was How does it feel? <laughs> What's it like being a woman during Women's History Month? Yeah, what's it like? I bet it sucks. Uh, it doesn't feel. It feels. You know what? 
I'm I'm every woman. Okay. I'm every, every woman. And as I if I was a woman, I yeah. would be strong, independent. I don't need a man. Okay. Okay. And the other thing So lonely. Yeah, it would be the same as <laughs> right now. <laughs> If I was a woman, nothing would change. <laughs> yeah, nothing would change about my life right now. But no, I mean, I would, I would, I, you know, I would take advantage of this month. You know what? Fuck you and your month. We're getting next month, and people are gonna love next month. It's actually Arab Heritage Month. It is. Arab yeah, Heritage it is. And month. I, th- we're gonna get a lot done next month. They're all gonna go. Oh my God! Look at the Arabs pod. Go, go support. Go support. We love Arabs. We love Arabs. Yeah. I hate it. Um, oh wait, I forgot. I can make that joke. We'll <laughs> save it for next week. I was gonna tell you guys. We, we we were we we went to play One Night Werewolf last night. I'm gonna talk about this. I know that I got cut off. I'm not allowed to talk about this. I told I was told I'm not allowed to talk about this on the pod. I'm doing it. Just say it. No names. No names. We went to play One Night Werewolf last night. Frogan and one of our other friends. Uh huh. We go to play the game. Okay. No, don't say his name. Okay, I won't bleep say out the name. Bleep out. Just sure. Okay. No, bleep it out. Bleep out. Thank you. Don't bleep it out. Uh, anyways, so we go to play One Night Werewolf, and Scootish just doesn't like board games. Okay, Scootish doesn't have a problem with board games per se. He doesn't like that. He game. hates One he Night Werewolf. He doesn't like social deduction games or One Night Werewolf. He doesn't like when we have to lie to each other. Yes. So and with, you know what? That's respectable, and I respect that, my friend. So within two seconds, Frogan goes off on Scootish because they're arguing to see who's the werewolf. Mm. And because that's no, no, not no, what no. happened. No. So we we start the game. So One Night Werewolf. What you have to do is you get a sign of card. You look at it. You get you have to do certain shit while there's a timer. Then you open your eyes. Scootish automatically goes, "Yeah, I I'm the viewer secret, whatever the fuck his role was." Seer. There's the two. Viewer there's, seer. there's two werewolves in the middle. The game's done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> we all were like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> yeah, we all like stop. We're like, "Dude, like, okay." And he's and like. Then, Either believe, dude, uh, the game is done. Stop, you know, like stop talking. So then I'm like, okay, game pass. What were you? She was like, well, there are two. I'm like, I said game pass. <laughs> and Scooters is like, why are you? That's being- not what happened. Scooters is like, why are you being so mean right now? This is really and we're like we're playing a fucking game. Scooters, she goes, that's why I didn't want to play this game. It really makes me upset. He's like, he just he thought we were all in paraphrasing, but somewhat, yes, somewhat to yes, that point. I'm paraphrasing. What? Being misrepresented. That's You're not being what misrepresented. I got you. I got you. Scootish said, I don't fucking like Frogan. Okay. And he's like, <laughs> That's not what he said. That's not what he said. That's not what he said. No. So, uh, game, we had already talked about it. You were the troublemaker, I, I believe. Or no. Yes. You were the troublemaker and you switched Game Pass's card with Raph. And Game Pass was the ins- I was a troublemaker. You were the troublemaker. I was a villager. I, I, I don't remember, but Game Pass had said already, oh, I was the insomniac, so I checked, I'm a villager now. And, I, and like, that had already happened. Everything checked out, basically. Every, everything checked out, and, like, I was not trying to, like, step on anyone's toes, but I, I was, like, I knew what Game Pass was because he had already said, like, what he was. Scootish was grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard, but Game Pass just popped his head in the room and goes, Scootish was grumpy. But anyways, <laughs> fuck that game. I got Werewolf, I feel like, every time, and I can't lie. No, you can't. It's actually really <laughs> because, bad. Because, because, here's the thing. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be sitting there, and Ralph will go like, and I'll, I'll just start laughing because I'm like, Dude, I can't every lie. Time that's not that serious. Every I t- do a glance. Every time she was the werewolf, I would close my eyes, and I would hear, we got it together one time and we look at each other and i just started <laughs> fucking dying my, laughing my favorite round though is when me and scootish got it and we were arguing with each, each other for 20 minutes about which one of us was the werewolf and then we're like you know what it's just in the middle and then we did it and then you guys were like we got this and we opened up we're both the werewolf and got, like, <laughs> that was a good you guys round were like, what so the fuck? Dumb. long story short we can't play one night werewolf with scootish anymore because it just it, it's not a good game for him <laughs> mentally. No, it's not. It's not. We, we need different games. So if you I know want, any good board games, put them down below. Yeah, in the I want to know. I want to know. Some I want a games. game that involves fighting, we, physical. Sock and boppers. Sock and boppers. Which I I had my. We should all break. just get VR and just fight each other. In no, VR. I want to fight. So down. <laughs> is there like a VR? I'm not. I'm not trying. I'm not. I'm, there is I'm a VR boxing say, game. But it's called. Creed. But is it like a two player? Like you can fight each other. Yeah, I think Creed you can play online with two players, but it's like really bad. Uh, mechanics and mechanics nah. so they're gonna release throw the fights like one of the biggest uh, uh this is one of my favorite things ever throw the fights one of my favorite games ever yeah it's a boxing game 
And if you play it, it's really good for a workout. Like a lot mm-hmm. of a lot of boxers train with it, or like at least like you know use it at home. And they're gonna come out with the second one, so you could box your friends. That shit would be a great workout. That would be great. Me and you fight. I have another one we could play. Yeah, let's just do me, you, and Frogan. We'll do. <gasps> Ooh, can I've, we fight tonight? Yeah, I'm. Is down. it out yet or no? Uh, no. There's other games that we could play multiplayer. There okay. used to be a uh, Echo Arena that me and Eli used to play back in the day, and it's like a game. Eli from Food Beast. We're Eli using. We're using his name so we can get. The clown. It's not good. So, anyways, <laughs> you, you would like throw a disc, <laughs> and it was a. It was kind of like a soccer, but in three dimensions. So you fly, uh-huh. but you can punch people in the head to like knock them out. And then uh, I guess uh, VR like they uh, or Facebook suspended it, but it was oh. like one of the best. But it was the interesting. Wor- okay, you know you know how you play a game with like little shit kids that talk shit online. Yeah, so much worse than VR. It's when so a much worse. Little kid can grab your face and go fuck you. I fucked your mom. Yeah, You're yeah, like, I'm gonna yeah, fucking, yeah. I'm gonna fuck you up, dude. Yeah, little kid, get your hands off me. Get dude, your little virtual hands off yeah, me. Yeah, they would grab the kids would fucking grab Stop you. Virtually pun- grabbing me. They would punch <laughs> you in the face and then they would say slurs and I was like, dude, this is so. People are like Call of Duty lobbies. This is way worse. No, than it's Call of- way it's worse. So I've been in a couple of those lobbies. Oh my god, when people were racist in those, it would fucking send me, dude. Yeah. I fucking called a little kid poor well, one Because time. you can actually, you actually, your whole body gets mad. Yeah. And in Call of Duty, when you're playing Call of Duty, we're just using Call of Duty as a reference here. All you can do is really shake your controller and scream. Here, you can actually move around and like try to grab <laughs> them and shit. And so you're just like. I was so mad one time. This kid kept saying the N word. I was like, dude, fucking stop. And then you can't do anything. And then I was like, he's, and I literally go, fuck you, you little kid, you poor ass bitch. And he goes, my dad's a veterinarian. I'm like, fuck you, you know, you poor ass little kid. But then he's punching me in the face. It's awful. It's not good. I want to fight in real life. I don't really want to fight in VR. Maybe you will soon. Yeah, you will. I'm winking at you. I don't know if this camera can. Who knows? Maybe might happen. If Wh- if I were to fight Wrath and Capri, I think I would win. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah you would. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Alhamdulillah. You, you would. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Oh. You can't even hold a fist. Because I have my nails. Can we take a break. Yeah. Can I, we take a I, break? Yeah, I have to pee my pants. Go pee. Just go pee. Well, I he go pee. I have to pee. I have to take a break. I have to poo poo pee pee. Today's not stressful. So if you have nails, you apparently have to punch like that. Yeah. But would you be scared of that though? No. I would see. Let's see a little Muslim girl going like this to me. It's not scary. I saw Numa Numa. You remember that movie when that video came out? It's the same dance move. You know, bass of Numa Numa, yeah. Can I do it? Numa Numa, yeah, yeah. No, see. Did it hurt? No. Numa Numa, Numa Numa, Okay, Numa, what, if yeah. I, what if I'm not sitting down? I don't think, what, are you going to try to generate more force? Yes. Yeah, all right, you're, <laughs> power bottom. <laughs> <laughs> she's power bottom. I'm not a power bottom. Yeah, she generates force from the bottom. Okay. From the top. How do like I punch hard? I don't know, but why are you on your knees like that? You're getting cut off. Because I was trying to position myself in a way that it would fuck me up and make me weaker. Did it work? I didn't try to punch you yet. You're so aggressive, and for what? I'm not aggressive. I don't know, man. I feel like every time we have a conversation, you, all you want to do is fight. Because random times, he'll start fucking airboxing me. Yeah. It's called shadow boxing. Yeah, I forgot the name Airboxing of it. Airboxing is insane. Sorry. Sorry. He started shadow boxing me. Then I'm well, like, I've been watching Anthony Sargon go and like box, and it got me all excited. I was like, now I'm watching a bunch of boxing videos for what? I'm not gonna oh box. God. And the Roadhouse comes out soon. Road, I think Roadhouse I is also wait. doing it for me too. But yeah, so then you start shadow boxing me. I'm like, oh, I want to fight, but I also don't want to hurt him. I don't think I could even if I tried though. To be honest, don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget oh, that, guys. You know what? Still rolling? Yeah, dude. I oh. was your pee. All right. He so threatened me. What did he say? With assault. He said that he could beat my yeah, ass. Yeah, and she threatened me with a pepper. And that's why we're a good match. Did you get the joke? Did you get the joke? <sighs> no, I didn't get the joke. Dude. Salt and pepper. Singers? Assault, salt, pepper. Mm, got it. Got uh, it. Dude, so this week we saw Dune 2. Yeah. Part 2. And that was and Frogan. Frogan does. Don't, I Fro- love no, 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 no. Don't talk. Frogan loved the tw- thirty minutes she actually no, watched. Of that yeah, movie. Frogan fell asleep and, and Scootish was sitting next to her, fucking his popcorn bucket the whole time. He was time sitting next to me, fucking was, his popcorn listen, bucket. Listen, how did I fall asleep? Like I what felt, I felt like I woke up with a fucked neck. You went like this, dude. I'm not gonna you lie. Wanna, you literally were asleep like this. I and like your body was like that. No spoilers. <laughs> we're gonna talk about this without spoilers. Okay, spoiler free. I cannot go to the movie theater for three fucking hours. My legs seized up. 
<laughs> my leg seized up. That ass. God, I walked no, out you know what pissed me off? I was uh, sleeping. I had my legs up like this, and I feel somebody move my yeah, legs. Yeah, scoot, because you wouldn't wake up, and he had to go pee. Was and like you were on, closest to the exit. I'm not going to lie. Being in the movie theater for three hours is like being on a fucking flight. What are you talking about? <laughs> you might as well fly somewhere. <laughs> You might as well fly somewhere at that point. I'm might as well watch the movie on the little screen. I'm not watching you. big blockbuster kind of movies with you guys anymore. I'm just going to no, watch no. nice one hour Three long movies. hours? Okay, here's the deal. Great movie. I love the first one. I like the first one better, okay? You didn't watch it. I, I did. I watched We're it. We're saving the movie. Yeah. We're going to talk about the depths of it on the, on on the, the Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, check out my movie the, review. With but yeah, movie I loved review. it. I thought it was such a good movie. My favorite part was the worms. Okay, don't listen to Frogger. Anyways. When we were there, we sat down. I got an icy. I got a beer. I was like sitting there. I was like, "I'm gonna, this is going to be a good experience. Mm -hmm. And then halfway through, I kept checking my watch. And I'm like, dude, this is so much better at home because I could watch like an hour. The only cool thing, it was a great movie to see in IMAX. And it was awesome. The sound system, it felt like a great experience. But, dude, I cannot go to the theater for three fucking hours to watch a movie. I'm not Duly noted. Anymore. The only movie I can watch in the theater for three hours is Endgame. I had a great time. I don't know if that's a three hours. That was hour three hours? I think it's like two and a half. That was mostly three action, hours? though, wasn't it? Listen. Well, it's Endgame. You're waiting 10 years to see one yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. not waiting 10 years. I watched Dune 1 last night, and then I watched Dune 2 the next day. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah, to be yeah, a yeah. fat bitch, but I love going to the movies strictly for popcorn and an icy. And I felt like by the time I finished drinking my icy, I was like fucking shaking. Why? Because that was like the only thing I had that day, uh, liquid-wise. What? What? Wait, what did you just, you just said the only <laughs> thing you had the entire day liquid wise? I didn't have any icy? water. What did you? But drink? what does that have to do with you drinking? I'm sorry. And I really didn't eat. I didn't eat. No, no, I'm sorry. You woke up. No, that, I'm sorry. That entire day you didn't have a glass of fucking water. No, I forgot to drink water. She had Coke at the restaurant. <laughs> that wasn't the first thing you had liquid wise. Yeah, it was still Coke. That's not the first thing you had liquid wise. You then. did have water. At the restaurant. I didn't drink all of it. Like, I drank my fucking Coke. You had one piece of your boneless chicken wing, too. Yeah, I also didn't eat. Oh, my God. Anyways. Dude. It reminds me of the fucking time you got a chicken sandwich without the sandwich. Dude, that was a dumb bitch's fault. She made me feel like a fat bitch for wanting chicken and potatoes. That was very... Okay. It's a lot of food. Are you sure about that? To be fair, you wouldn't have eaten it. I would have. Mm -mm. I was hungry. You had you you don't eat all your food. That's okay. It's not, I'm not blaming you or yelling at you or anything like that. But like, eat your food. You okay. Know? Forget about the food. Okay. Mm -hmm. You you had liquid that day. Also, we sat down. We had drinks. You know, you didn't drink, but we had drinks. We all got shots, and then we got a beer and we went in. I had a mosque tail. Did you have a? Did you have a? <laughs> did you have a mocktail? No. Mosque tail. So, anyways, we we had a good time. But then, fucking, uh, what's it called? Like. Halfway through, I'm like, I'm done, dude. I want to go home. People left. Did you see people leaving? There, yeah. There were people next to me that left. Wait, really? Of, yeah, there was people leaving. It was a great movie, but it's like, hey, at one point, they were like, you know what? I'll catch the rest on DVD. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think you spent like 21 bucks for that. Like, I wouldn't spend money if I'm not going to sit there and watch the entire we movie. We also went, okay, we went Usually at 11 I stayed till at the, night. I, I stayed till the credits end, too, but I left because I knew you guys were like, let me get the fuck out oh, of here. Oh, no, you should I wouldn't have cared. I'm a night owl. I would have been up anyways. Oh yeah! Oh really? Would you have? Then why did you sleep Where's during all this the contention fucking from movie? You coming from? Because she's. Are you thinking so mad at her? Because she just said, "I'm a night owl. I'd be up anyways," and she fell asleep during the movie. Did That's my true. sleeping disturb you in any way? No. The way you slept would disturb it disturbed me. Did. You're like a pretzel. Like a pretzel. You look like an Auntie Anne's. Okay, it could have. Listen, I, you know what? If I would have slept normal, I could have went slept on Game Pass or you. But I slept on myself. Instead, I did the non-selfish uh, decision, I was out, and I swept like this. I was on an island by myself. I just want to let you guys know. You weren't like this. You were like, you put your hand in the wrong spot. Why don't you get one of those like flight pillows? Because I usually don't fall. Because <laughs> I, I usually that. don't fall asleep during don't, movies. I thought that your I thought like your hijab like if I pulled the cord it would like inflate so you can go to sleep wherever you're at. Is that not true? It's go go gadget. No, go go gadget. And I think I think I woke hijab up. Wrapped. I think I woke up and I was like this. Yeah, you were. And I was like, what the fuck? At was... one point, you I think you tried to put your hand on your head like this, but you did it wrong. And so your head was like this, and you put your hand like this. <laughs> no, it was such a weird. It was weird. It was weird. It was so weird. Yeah, I woke up with neck pain, but I don't know. Do you like? I don't watch Dune One. I just showed up. Whatever. The worst thing is, I kept looking over, and Scootish had the popcorn bucket, and he was like, 
putting his hand in and out of it. <laughs> yeah, I wake up and I see Scooter holding the empty Dune book. I'm and he was like, like what stroking is he the doing? inside of it, like looking for the G spot like, of I a was Dune like, worm. Dude, what are you doing, man? You know, he was he was getting he was making him feel comfortable. Yeah, I, I will say though, some of the extras in the movies were hot as shit. Extras? Yeah. Like the Arab ones? Yeah, fuck Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> <laughs> Which Arab ones? Which uh, ones? I don't remember what they look like. Do you? Or you do? Which? Oh, are you talking about Austin Butler having no hair and no Hell eyebrows? Hell no! I don't like white blonde men like that. Okay. <laughs> this means racist, but go. <laughs> we hate the Aryan. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it was it was obviously the, the Arab ones. Okay. Okay. Which ones? I don't remember. He looked like an Arab fucking man. <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's like Arab number five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Arab number five was slamming, dude. <laughs> like. <laughs> but then I'm like wondering. I'm like, if they took off that turban, they'd probably be bald. Okay, so we narrowed it down. It's somebody who was wearing a turban. So it wasn't any of the it people. Was, it was like they had like. It was honestly doing that huge. Oh, was it crowd the guy scene. like in the beginning who was screaming at them for to not come to not come in? I don't remember that part. Oh. I don't. There was there was thousands of people on that planet. I remember everyone. You do not remember them. Remember everyone. Then think of the hot Arab guy, and that was him. There's like a lot of them there. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a bunch of dudes. There's a good there. amount of them there. You know. Yeah, whoever cast that movie did a great job. Cast. Whoever cast that movie. I'm sorry. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Whoever cast that movie did a great fucking Whoever job. Whoever casted that movie. I Except for it. the it's lead. It's so annoying when you say casted. I'm really? sorry. I yeah. didn't know. No, not you. You say cast. I'm talking as about a, him. As an actor. Because he does it all the time. And I'm like, I mean, I'm just, I, I let it slide because you don't know any better. I'm teaching you right now. It's oh, cast. Really? Thanks to do it publicly. Thank you so much. Yeah. You could have done it I'm, I'm doing a teaching, teaching moment for but you. But yeah. One okay. thing I did realize while watching Dune is that uh, Timothy Chalamet sounds like Scott Disick. Kourtney Kardashian's ex. I was like, I was like, dude. Once I make my return to Twitter, that's going to be a tweet. The first tweet back is that. Yeah. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet sounds like uh, Scott Sissick. Sissick. This this is. Sissick. I'm like, I've been waiting fucking day. You know what? I'm going to schedule that shit. It's <laughs> a good one. Thank if you. you see the tweet, it's because she scheduled it. If it comes before. out, uh, it's going to come out Thursday. <laughs> YouTube heard it first. Actually, it's going to come out Wednesday. What if someone took it, post it right yeah, now? Yeah, that's exactly I'm going to schedule it. Before they get to this part. Yeah. So look, check my Twitter during this episode. Okay, cool. Cool. Check mine yeah. too. I just no, don't the, check my uh, don't check mine. Yeah, I just need the engagement. So No. Yeah. It was uh I I honestly I haven't had an experience in the movie theater where I like had a good time. That was cool. Three hours killed me, but it was like it was like something that I would return to theaters for. You know? You know? They're kind of missing one thing from that movie. What? Nobody asked who up playing with they were in. What, what? Who, what? Nobody asked who up playing with they worm. You saw that on the internet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> he didn't speak English. What the fuck did you just say? Yes, hey, Ken. <laughs> what did you just say? I don't know what you what just said. What playing the where? What was that? I don't know what she said. You just said a bunch of gibberish. Yeah, it was gibberish. What was that? <laughs> hold on. Were you trying to think of the word and you couldn't said, pronounce it? We tried anyways. I think she said nobody asked. Who up playing with they worm? Who up playing with they worm? <laughs> <laughs> you never seen that meme? No, who up playing with a worm? No. <laughs> I got canceled for that a long time ago. Why? Stop getting canceled for things. <laughs> I can't story. keep up. That's why I have the Frogan Law emote of like the worm like wiggling around. What? My emote. Which the worm emote? Yeah. I mean the whole movie's about worms. Right? It's not. You know what that movie is, though? Can I be honest? Yeah. It's just Tremors 3 or 4. <laughs> I love Tremoring. <laughs> it's Tremors if, like, the worms weren't the main focus of the Tremors movie. Tremors of Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> when you come to Arabia, there are worms and they will eat you. I have, a, genu I have a genuine question. What? Sure. Do you think, like... She's never seen Tremors, by the way. Yeah, I haven't. She didn't know Twister was a movie. Yeah, she yes, know I Twi did. I told you my trauma oh, right. about no, it. No, you did. Scoot did it now. I was like, it's a sequel. I looked at Game Pass next to me. I was like, Twister's a Game Pass. I was like, all right, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I was no, like, okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> like, Come down. It's funny because Game Pass did that to you, and usually it's the other way around. Yeah, I was like, dude, what the? <laughs> Chill. When the Ghostbusters thing happened, I was like, oh, dude, this is going to be sick. The, the last one was bad, but it wasn't that bad. 
And then Game Pass is like, you think that movie's good? I was like, why are you being a dick right now? And I can't see my friends. Like, they're all the way over there. I was like, is anyone here? Yes, so during the Twister trailer, I trauma dumped to Raph. Uh, so I used to yeah, have. She did the, how did, what did Amanda say? You just pulled out a pocket full of worms on me? Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah. So I used to have a very bad fear of severe weather particularly tornadoes like to the point where like if i saw clouds like this right now i'd be checking the weather channel yeah and like watching it like progress um welcome to my life (laughs) (laughs) but i i'm over that thank god yeah not me i went to universal studios when i was a kid and my family knew i had like a fear of tornadoes and i had my face painted i didn't include this part and they took me on the twister right on purpose really big detail you didn't tell me yeah because and then i was what was it painted as a unicorn how do they make your face a unicorn they like did it like a half face. Yeah, they, they, they get painted. No, but I'm confused. Like, how did they make the? It, if if you don't have the horn coming out of your head, then it's just a horse with a the weird nose forehead. Is the horn, buddy. But what, did they did they put like a cone on your head or something? No, they didn't. They just painted they it. They just on. painted a fucking unicorn dog. Yeah. Oh, they painted a unicorn. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Anyways, although they made your face into a unicorn. So my family took me on the ride on purpose, knowing I'd fucking freak the fuck out, and I did, and I rubbed my face in my dad's shirt, and it fucked it up. Because that was your exposure therapy to tornadoes. You want to know my Twister story? When the move, movie came out, I went to the premiere and met jo- Jodie Foster and Bill Paxton, and they signed my book, and then I lost it. So mine's kind of like yours, but way cooler and better. <laughs> yeah, I remember ever g- when going on the Twister ride and being afraid of it. Is there an actual Twister ride? There used to be. It would like basically go through this room, and it was kind of like the Muppet Theater situation. You go through this room, they have like a little video playing. And then you would go through another room onto like a soundstage kind of situation. And then they would play the entire like big twister moment where like a cow was flying and stuff was like exploding in front of you and like houses were being taken down. But it was all it was all like real pyrotechnics and stuff. So yeah. it was like pretty cool. Yeah, but then what was the ride? That, that, that was, was the it. ride. Just watching it. Look, you're in a tornado. But like, but are you that's like a tornado down? experience. No, no you're, standing, you're up. standing up. You're so like the, at a fence watching so, it. Wait, hold on. So you just walk. It's not a ride. You're just standing there looking at shit. Yeah. Experience. How did that scare you? I was fucking five and I had a fear of tornadoes. Dude, whenever I was in second grade, I'll never fucking forget this day. I was in Islamic class. It was 311. Uh, so we we're about to great go band. home. Yeah, I was. Th- I, I when she said that, I was like, <laughs> great band. Amber is the color. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, and I noticed the clouds in the sky. The sky was fucking orange, uh-huh. turning green. And I'm like, oh, my God. And, and this is where, like, religious trauma comes in. My Islamic teacher was like, you see how fast Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can change the color of the sky? <laughs> the day of judgment is coming soon. And as soon as he said that, the tornado siren started, and I started fucking bawling. And I made everybody, and then they made us go to the lockers, and then, like, there was raining so much that, like, water was coming up through the tiles. And then we lived, like, next to the school. My dad came and picked me up dead ass during the tornado. Because <laughs> as soon as they heard it, my mom and dad, they're like, we got to get here because we know that bitch is freaking the fuck out, which I was. I made everybody cry. You make me cry, too. <laughs> that's That that skill of yours is carried on throughout Morgan's life. Religious trauma religious traumatized the entire school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, when have I made you cry? Right now I'm about to cry. I can cry. Feel it. Zoom can you on cry me. on command because you're an actor? I can, but not right now. Do it right now. I can't. You fucking are ugly as shit. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Are you going to cry? <laughs> Bitch boy. I'm trying. I'm trying to. <laughs> are you going to cry? Say more shit. Steven. He misses you. Yeah, Steven's all alone. Steven makes me disassociate, not cry, really. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's sad. I don't really want to make you su- cry. Yeah. Um, Wing stop. It makes my stomach hurt. We uh, we want to uh, well, let's do this. <laughs> we've done we've done nine episodes now. You still don't know how to end an episode. How do I end it? By shutting the be, fuck up. No, not even like. You, what am I supposed to do? Just stand here, look at the camera, and go. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. We're gonna cut it here. Check us out the rest of the episode on the Patreon channel on the paywall. We're bringing Game Pass. We have our friend Game Pass, bo- a.k.a. Bobby Boy, a.k.a. Comedy Bob here. Yep. And we'll be hanging out with him. Uh, we'll be talking about, like, some Am I the Asshole stuff. We'll be going through some. Have you heard? Have you seen these? No. Dude, I've been reading them. They're, 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 they're wild. What? I forgot to talk about. What? The, the, the who the fuck did I marry? We're going to talk about who the fuck did I marry on the Patreon as well. That's fine. We'll that was a little bit. We'll talk about it that time. Whatever. It's been going on. We, so. we have enough. We had enough content this week. 
Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank Check you. out everyone who's stuck out. If you guys, if you guys stay till the end, comment stay till the end. I love reading those comments. It's really nice. Thank Follow you. everybody on all their platforms. And it's sub the same to the Patreon. Names. Bye. Check out those things. Bye. Okay, Factory. I had COVID and I didn't know I had COVID. Okay? Oh, okay. So I drove home and then there's nowhere to pee. A COVID is not the reason why you peed on yourself in the car. It's COVID of, is not the reason. One of the multitude. For again, is COVID the reason? He's just a disgusting person. <laughs> <laughs>